Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us to play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the PC. Last time, we made our way down here in uh, St. Edric's Well in order to find the uh, crystal shards or whatever the heck these damn things are. Um, yeah, the missing crystals or whatever. And we got a whistle from this guy, which I didn't realize. I thought the uh, other shard was just, you know, somewhere up there. But we got to actually use the crystal. So. I made my way back here off screen, and as soon as we get out of stealth, we're going to go ahead and see what the whistle does here. Alrighty. Um, they put something on the minimap up there. Okay. Let's go head over there, shall we? Yeah, I kind of messed up last, last episode by just walking out. And of course, they won't let you back in the cave. Unless you run through it again. I mean, all the enemies are gone, so that didn't matter too much. But some of the traps were rearmed, it seemed like. Alright, so... Was it over here? Ah, there we go. And we got the final crystal. All right, so now we got to go back to Hollow the White, who is chilling in somewhere. I have no idea. All right, I guess we'll go outside and find him then. I, I don't think he's in the cave. Otherwise, that would just be a bastard move on their part to make me come back in here again. But we'll find out. Alright, Helm the White, you are way over there. Okay, no prob, Bob. It's just, uh. Fast travel to House of Ballads. I don't remember. He wasn't the one that gave us the quest. The guy that gave it. Well, I was about to say the, pri the priest gave us the quest, but he's dead, so I guess this does make sense. We take it to some. Leave it to Helm the White and his pet. To expose my plans, you will regret ever joining the House of Ballads. You will have to try better than that, beloved. I keep secrets for a reason. I wanted the mission's crystals, but the mortal and his boy would not cooperate. But I always find a way to get what I desire. Don't we all? You know, I kind of forgot that you wanted these. I am known as the Maid of Windermere. But that is all you shall learn this day. Well, we kind of knew that. We kind of knew that. But you should like tell us more about yourself. That'd be awesome. All right. Um, the king's not up here then. Winston is with me, and he will stay with me until I deem it fit to return him. If the House of Ballads wishes to have its king, it must send its greatest warrior. Since I have all of them, that leaves you. Come, I wish to collect you as well. I will be waiting. So, we're going to go after the Maid of Windermere now? Awesome. Huh, so I guess the king's gone. Okay. This is not just about the court anymore. You have roused the maid's interest, and it is clear she wishes to add you to her collection. We must do as she commands. But we will be prudent in how we proceed. This ballad, the champion, is one to be undertaken with great caution. So, Sagril, are you ready to make the preparations and depart? Now is the time. Sure, I'll go take on the Maid of Windermere. Uh, assuming she doesn't actually, like, kill me, that'd be awesome. But again, she might be kind of tough. But anyways, uh, yeah, why do we need to be all so... Well, we need to be careful because she's dangerous, obviously. She covets King Wenson and always has, by taking the whole court of enchantments. She is sending a strong message. Revenge is now what she desires most. There is more. There is you. The maid is a curious sort. One whose interest is easily aroused. Your presence has altered the telling, and she wishes to learn why. Oh, I chose the wrong one. Anyways, uh, 
I cannot foresee the outcome of these events, I will. This version of the telling has never been told. I can hardly bear to think of what is coming. You must do all you can to preserve the House of Balance, even as the Maid tempts you with her promises of freedom. We have a responsibility to what has come before. It is a tragic ballad of a knight who entered the Maid's Kingdom, only to fall prey to her enchantments. His name was Sir Elswin, and he had the best of intentions. Elswin gloriously overcame Windermere's defenses, but it was on the edge of the Weeping Gorge that the Maid came to him and clouded his thoughts. Now he stands forever as the Maid's lone champion, defender at the gates. All who wish to enter the kingdom of Windermere must go through him. So she seduced him with her feminine wiles? I could see that. She wasn't bad looking for a evil fey chick. I mean, I'd cram it in if she forced me to. Sure, why not? But anyways, uh, let me go sell off some of my junk, and then I will come and talk to you about uh, me when you're ready to make this story tearing her up. Alright, so give me a few seconds, and I'll be right back. Not not you guys. I'm just going to do this on screen or fast. It's not going to take too long to um, sell this stuff, hopefully. Uh, let's see, I don't need to talk to you. Why, hello. Who do I need to talk to? No. It is an honor to see you again. No, oh, you're a fate weaver. Really uh, I don't really care about fate weaving right now. I will be doing, um, what is it? I will be doing... What would you like? I've got plenty of tasty. Pinch of this, drop of the chair to learn. It was nice talking. My sorcery run, really soon, actually. Actually, I'll probably end up doing it after this, uh, this made a Windermere request, if it, if this actually, if this actually finishes it up. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with the, uh, finesse for a little bit longer. Okay, where, where's the damn shops in this damn place? I know they exist, but where are they? Impressive ballad, Sacro. Will you do anything for me? No. No, you can unbind my gems, but I don't really care about that. Um, some one of you has to sell me some junk. I mean, I, we could we could just fast travel somewhere, but I was hoping we could just uh, do it here real fast. Unfortunate. I hope that a true sing your song. Do you really not have any shops in this town? Is it time? I guess not. Okay. We'll just uh grab some flowers and get out of here then real fast. Alright, uh let's go to yeah, Canter Rock. I like Canter Rock because it has my house. Hello. So, yeah, sometimes like sometimes these like hidden wells respawn. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to or not, but one oh I, I think it was one in this town actually. Yeah, I think it was this one that actually respawned. Yeah, see, it respawned. I don't know why, unless I just never took the uh, health regen potion earlier, which is always a possibility since I don't really care for the uh, health regen potions. I do like that ability though. All right, where is our shopkeep? What time is it, anyways? Eh, midnight. Close enough. Yeah, you guys don't get a lot of sleep when I come by, do you? I, but you've saved us. You're still all sorts of uh, what is it? Paranoid and God-fearing and stuff. All right, let's get rid of the fine oak staff, the silk robe. As the right. Yeah, you know what? We could probably uh, tear those down into uh, Azerite, uh, whatchamacallits. Um, we, could probably, we could probably tear them down into the base components to make something decent out of. Uh, I thank you for the Beware the forest. Yeah, let's do that real fast. Let's uh, dismantle a few things. All 
All right, salvage. Let's get you done. Eh. Oh well. We tried. All right, robes of the blaze. Well, I'm gonna keep those because, like I said, we're gonna be doing sorcery really soon, and that's actually not bad. Thirty mana regen, ten fire damage. That's not too shabby. Let's see. We don't need these. Improved hardened grip. Nice. Let's see. Scholar's longsword. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Ooh, an Azerite blade. Nice. Let's see. Gloves of fire hindrance. Uh, that gives us slightly better armor, but we have better uh, secondary stats on our current gloves. Okay. Let's see, studded leather hood. Eh, we'll keep that for a little bit, I guess. Um, 56 out of 80. Let's see. I know I have a minor health regen potion. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I don't need it cluttering up my inventory. I'll use the greater mana regen eventually. That that will be reasonably useful. Let's see. The gems. Not too worried about those. Whistle. I don't think we're going to be using this for anything else, is it? Uh, maybe I can toss it in the... Maybe I can toss it in my stash. Yeah, my house is... Where's my house? Ah. There we go. Alright, stash. Alright, let's uh, place. Um, see, you're the one with... Okay, we're going to be using you soon, but not not just yet. Let's see, you. We'll put you in there. Um, Hadwin's Beads. Damage versus Niskaru. That's not too bad. Uh... Why did, why did these collapse? Let's see, Storm Scythe, those are Chakrams, I do believe, which we'll probably be using. Uh, Kellorin's Messenger, I think those are Fae Blades, actually. I think. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use them, though. Um, let's see, Shark Fins, those are also Fae Blades, I think. That's a Hammer. That's actually pretty nice. So we'll hold on to that. Executioner's Fae Blades, um... Yeah, we can just sell you, actually. Let's see. Namian Cowl. Ooh, that'll be really good for sorcery. 15 mana regen, 10 fire, ice, and lightning damage. Extra armor, elemental resistance, extra health. Okay, yeah. We'll definitely hold on to that. Let's see. Anything else we can toss in here? Uh, where is it? Storage case. Let's... Well, it's not letting me put that in there, so let's just add that to junk. Since I don't think we can actually use that for anything. But then again, we might, so I don't know. Uh, Gunner Frode. Um, yeah, we'll hold on to that, because we're going to need that at some point. Uh, Straw Doll. I don't think you do anything, so you're going to be junked. Silver Nuggets. Um, not sure what you guys are for. One Experience. Damn it. Uh, or that. If it's just one experience again, I'll just leave it back in there. Let's see. Gem of Achievement, one experience. Oh, wrong one. Okay, that's still the one experience. Okay, gotcha. Alright, that freed up some inventory space, so that works. Yeah, let's go get rid of that, uh, whatever sword it was, or something. I think it was a sword. I think. And then we'll go take on the Maid of Windermere, hopefully. If we can ever find the... Inn. You've saved us. Alright, so we want to get rid of the Fey Blades. Storm Scythe, we'll hold on to, I guess. Uh, it's anything else that I really don't care about here? Uh, 
What does that do anyways? 15% chance to steal 5 mana per hit. Eh, you know, we don't actually need that, so I'll just toss that. There we go. Goodbye. Um, and the rest? Yeah, we're going to use all that at some point in the eventual future. Alright, so back off to the House of Ballads in, in order to take on the Maid of Windermere, I guess. Probably be a nice little uh, dungeon area. It says I don't have a quest, but it's, it's showing the marker for over here. Welcome. Alright, Helm. I am ready to go, so let's get out of here. This is not just about the court anymore. You, we must do as she commands. But we will be prudent. So, Sacral, are you ready to make the pr Then it is time. You are the last knight of the House of Ballads. You represent all that we've been through, all that we are, in this telling and all those to come. There is little you can do to prepare for the journey ahead, but take another resurrection potion like the one you used to save Ferrara. You may need it. This is all I can offer you. The rest of the story is yours to tell. All right, we got another resurrection potion, which isn't for us; it's for the other dude. But oh well. All right, uh, nothing else to talk about. All right, so how do I get to Windermere? One can always find what is sought if the desire is strong enough. Venture northeast of the House of Ballads, and you will find your way. Okay, I'm assuming that that yeah, I was about to say I'm assuming it was this area right here that we've uh, been to before, but there wasn't anything up there. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll just be like a giant ass battle once we get up there that'd be pretty cool i wonder if we ever get like a uh, a mount like a horse in this game or something to ride because well, we do a lot of running around and that would make like traversing the reasonably large maps here easier yeah see that's uh that's where we got to go i think we've got i think we tried to go up here and we couldn't make it past that for some reason uh, i don't remember exactly why but I think that's what happened. Um, and we can't fast travel anywhere, can we? Okay. This, just uh, dash on over there. I get the feeling we're not going to actually get a, get started on the actual quest today since it's going to take us a few minutes to travel over there. But oh well. That'll just leave us more time for uninterrupted questing later. And there goes my sword. Or my, no, my, not my sword, my arrows. Uh, you, you know, actually, give me the uh, soft scribal powder, and then other, go away. All right, ember eyes, and I think this will jump us down, kind of. No, that's jumping us down from up there, not, I thought it was going to jump us down to the path that we were going to take, but nope, that jumps us down from somewhere else entirely. And you little shits, I hate you guys, just so you know. And they slowed my ass. God damn it. Why not do a nice charge shot? If we can ever charge. Perfect. There we go. Much better. The damn slowing effect really screws you over. Yeah, all the paths that we could jump down from wouldn't really help us because we'd have to get over there and then they'd kind of take us way off course, so oh well. Hello, Wookie. Yeah, I think we couldn't get any further than a little past this tunnel, actually. Uh, what's over here? Oh, you little turds. Yeah, you guys are fine. I don't really care about you guys. And there appears to be a... Oh, I was about to say, it looks like an ambush, but it's so... No, it's just these little chumps. Ooh, 
nice little charge attack takes these guys out nice and easy. Eel pedal, then nice. Then again, they are significantly lower level than we are right now. I think I think we were in here at like, what, level 7 or something? 8? I don't know. It was several levels ago, let's just put it that way. You've come. Wise. Wiser than those other fools in the House of Ballads. It is their inability to see beyond themselves that has brought them to this end. This is my realm, and any who seek to cross it must first face my challenges. The Wall of Thorns awaits. You will not lay eyes on him until I find you worthy of it. I pull your strings now. If you wish to rescue your friends, you must cross the field of battle. I am not of the Summer Court, but a flower of the bleak winter, and I desire the one thing that the chill of immortality cannot provide. Love. As it is in the telling, so it will be for you. Only a true knight of the House of Ballads may pass beyond the wall, and every true knight needs armor. Tell me, beloved, are your tales worth a minstrel's breath, or are you just dust waiting to fall? Well, actually, I kind of uh, already did become dust in the wind, and then they kind of revived my dead ass. So, oh well. I hope that the area coming up scales to when we get in there, and not scales from me coming into this little pathway earlier. Because if it scales to earlier, then it's going to be a pretty easy area. Alright, so we got to find the armor, which is apparently right there, so it's not too far away. And you know what? Let's keep that map up. I forget why we couldn't get past here, but uh, I just remember that we couldn't. Oh well, the important thing is that we can hopefully get past here now. I wonder if we can swim down there and see if anything's down there. Yeah, we'll give it a shot if these guys get out of my way. Yeah, these guys aren't even giving... Well, they, I guess they are giving me some experience. I thought that since they were gray, they wouldn't be giving like any experience whatsoever. And that guy actually took more than two hits to kill, what do you know? And there's somebody fighting up there. Rousing Fade Blades, very nice. Eh, health regen. Oh well. Let's see what those uh, Rousing Fade Blades are, shall we? Probably nothing worthwhile. Yeah, those are really weak. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in just a moment. Have I already seen this? Yeah, I've already seen that. Stop. Look who it is, Kreth. Hallam the White has sent his right hand to tear at Our Lady's good name. You are interrupting a duel for the ages. There can only be one Windermere champion, and it shall be me. Of course, Kreth has never been one to concede gracefully. Yeah, I'm the hero here, not you, buddy. Uh, let's see. Tell me about the maid real fast if you could. That'd be awesome. She is the only one who deserves our worship. The only one willing to stand against the telling and fight for her own ambition. She is glorious. She's okay. I mean, nothing fabulous as far as I can tell. It is I, but in truth I've discovered a greater calling. A purpose that will never fade. I fight for the maid now, and she whispers her love to me. We're going to have to cast a spelling on you again. The pawns of Hallam only wish to harm our mistress, and they will feel the sting of our blades. Do not count yourself among them. That would be unwise. Okay, I'm going to ask for your armor. You're probably going to say no, and I'm probably going to have to beat you up for it. Need our armor? Is this a jest? You will never impress the maid. She is only interested in true knights of the realm. Perhaps you can help us choose the growl. Kreth and I were just fighting over who should be the maid's true champion. Unless you believe yourself worthy of such an honor, then by all means challenge one of us to a duel. The prize... Your thought after armor. Okay, Nito. Uh, let's see. 
We honor this field of battle in the name of the Maid, who can have but one champion. Only one defender of Windermere, and one worthy of her love. Kreth thinks it is he who she desires, but he is wrong. He is always wrong. Well, you're humble, aren't you? There can only be one defender of Windermere. As Sir Elswin was no longer worthy, Kreth and I dispatched him hastily, and in a manner befitting one of his service. Why... why only one? I mean... I, I would think that the more the better, because, well, once you kill one, then there's another fresh guy waiting there to take you on, because you're all tired and he's fresh, so having more than one would be a lot better, I think. You may win more than just my armor, Sagro. You will know that you are truly the victor, for Ermer is the greatest knight ever to raise a sword in the maid's name. Okay, I'm going to think about it by talking to the other guy, and then depending on what he says, I will try to either dispel this guy, and if that fails, I'll fight him. Right, but yeah, well, let's talk to the other guy we first. We not be hasty, would we? Well, which one of us do you want killing you? I'll do it if it must be done, and if it pleases my lady. Sir Elswin has been relieved of his duties. He has been guarding this kingdom for far too long, and even the best grow lazy. Erma's sense of duty, of service, it is what makes him weak. The maid needs one whose strength is not bound by mercy. Not even the love of knights and brothers can stand between my lady and me. Those who would try will fall. Are you certainly dedicated? Uh, let's see. Then you will earn my respect, something you have yearned for since our first meeting. Come, prove to me that you are worthy of my blade. All right, I'm gonna think about it, cause I'm not sure who I want to. you mortals waste. Fight. I think you'd be more protective of it, as little as you have. Goodbye. Yeah, people do spend a lot of time just sitting around, dicking around, and not caring. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and decide which one of these guys I want to fight, and then we'll find out which one we're going to take care of next time. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.